Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to look at a nonfiction text. It is called Komodo Dragons, Giant Reptiles. I just want to show you a few features of a nonfiction text um, and just review some of those, um, those parts. So at the beginning of a nonfiction text, most of the time you're going to see a table of contents. Now remember the table of contents is going to give you different um, sections, going to break it up into sections for you. Um, if you were looking at, at Komodo dragons, but you wanted to find out about babies, their babies, okay, you would go come here down to baby dragons and go to page 13. If you wanted to find out about their homes, you might come up here and go to hot home and go across and you can just go right to page nine. So if you're looking for something specific on a topic, you can just go to the table of contents and you can look there um, to just go right to that part to find that information. Okay, at the end of the book, you will also find a glossary. Now the glossary is going to be really helpful to you um, when there are words that maybe you don't know. Okay, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today is unknown words in nonfiction texts. So if I don't know what a word means, what should I do? Okay, so this glossary at the end of the book is going to be really helpful to you. So the words are going to be, that are in the glossary throughout the text are going to be bold. Remember bold is that darker writing, right? It stands out from the other words, okay? So we have these words here, attack, burrows, hatch, hunters, plates, reptiles. And if I look to the right, I can find what the definition of these words are. Okay, so in most texts, no, most nonfiction texts, you'll see a glossary. In lower level texts, it will be the word, and it might have a picture that goes with it to help you. Okay, you'll also find within pictures, sometimes there's some extra sentences or some extra information for you, okay? It's just to help you um, with what you're reading to better understand what you're reading. Just give you a little bit more information. Um, also, sometimes there's labels, okay? They label the picture, right? So here's a picture. I want to know what it is. I can look at the label, okay? It's a water buffalo. Right down here is a wild pig, okay? So we can look at those labels and pictures, all right? And in this one, there's um, labels, but it's describing the different parts of the Komodo dragon. All right, so when we are reading a nonfiction text, those are just kind of some of the features of a nonfiction text that we, I just wanted to review with you. Um, but when we're looking at a nonfiction text and we don't know what a word means, one thing we can do is um, use the glossary. So the first page that I come upon with this um, bold word, Okay, you can notice that difference. Komodo dragons have hard plates on their bodies. The plates protect them. Now, I might think to myself, plates, like I know what a plate is. I know I eat off a plate, I put my food on a plate, and I'm thinking about what that plate looks like. But I also know that, that I'm looking at the Komodo dragon and I don't see plates on him. I don't see a plate that I eat off of. So I know that that's not what that means. So I need to figure out, and even in these pictures, right? I know that I don't, I don't see a dinner plate on him. So I need to think to myself, what do they mean? Okay, I know that the plates protect them. So I can use the words around it, the sentences around it to try and get an idea of what that is. So I am thinking that it's something that's hard um, on their bodies that is gonna protect them from other things around them. But again, because this word is bold, I can go to the end in my glossary. I know that those bold words are in my glossary and I can come down here and I can look for that word plates, plates. Okay, I know that's plates, it looks right. Okay, they're hard, often flat body parts that cover an animal's body and protect it from harm. Okay, so I kind of had an idea of what it was. Okay, it's a hard body part that covers an animal's body. So it covers the body and it protects it from other animals. All right, so we were, we were pretty spot on with that. All right, um, another part. Um, 
that we can look at. Let's see if we can find another word. Oh, this word here. Okay. The forests can have very hot weather. Komodo dragons stay cool in burrows. Okay. Again, I'm using what's around it, right? Komodo dragons stay cool in burrows. Okay. They live in hot weather and they stay cool in burrows. So I'm trying to think to myself, okay, it's something that he stays cool in. So he has to go into it. Let's look down here, right? Remember we talked about that these pictures can have some sentences or some more information to help us to understand what we're reading. So it says dragons dig their own burrow or use another animal's burrow. Okay, so they dig. So I'm looking here. Oh, and I can use the picture too to help me. So I can see right here, okay, he must have dug a burrow under the ground. So it must be kind of like a hole in the ground. Okay, so we're using the text around us, around the word, to help us understand what it means. We're using information from the picture, okay, and also some additional information that they gave us down here. I'm also noticing that the word is in bold, so I can go to the glossary, okay? Always an option if that word's in bold, okay? So it was burrows, holes dug in the ground by an animal for use as homes, so again, we were right. We used the information around it, we used the pictures, and we used our additional information that was given in the picture, and we also used the glossary. So when you're looking at a book, okay, nonfiction text, and you don't know what a word means, try to use the words around it. Try to use the sentences around it. Try to look at the picture. Try to look at the information maybe that was given in the picture. And if it's a bold word, remember you can look in the glossary. All right, I hope you guys have a great day.